There we go. I don't know what's up with that. Technical difficulties. It is Friday. <clears throat> All right. No pod this week. So this is your uh, this is your podcast. Uh, it's been a hectic week. Did not. Uh, we need a little decompression time after uh, what went on. What went down this week. So let's forget about that though, and let's talk a little baseball and uh, do some of these uh, some of these baseball dailies, shall we? Let's get right into it. And uh, do, do, do. first thing we're going to do, we're going to try our hand at this again. This was an epic fail earlier this week. And uh, we're going to try this and see if we can be a little bit more smart, I guess. Um, so here we go. This is the, uh, along with the athletic, this is the New York games. It is called, I think it's called Connections. We need to find four things that go together. And I don't see anything here that uh, is baseball related. So that sucks. Um, all right, let's see here. I do see two things, though. I see uh, Hoosiers and Space Jam. Those are both movies. Uh, Semi-Pro, that's a movie. So I think we're on to something here. But I don't see anything else here that is a, a movie Name, a sports movie name. Floor gloves, clipping, offside, face mask. Uh, I do not see anything, so we're gonna we'll, we'll come back to that now. I do see offside, face mask, holding, and clipping. Which, being a huge football fan as I am, uh, that is uh, those are penalties in football. So I think we might have got one. There we go. I think we're ahead of last. Last time already. Uh, let's see here. Um, floor, field, ice, stick. Ooh. Uh, field, if you put the word hockey after that, it's a sport. Ice hockey, air hockey, and is stick hockey a thing? Like, I know broom hockey is. Um, let's just try it. Submit. No, oh, we're one away. I think it's got to be something. I'm missing something hockey. Floor hockey. There it is. All right. So, all right. So, we've got uh, two down now. So, it's, it should theoretically be easier now. Uh, let's see. Skates, gloves, helmet, and stick. Those are all hockey equipment. And then I guess Hustle is a sports movie that I have never heard of. We did it. Uh, we did it. We only missed one. So that is a huge improvement on, on earlier this week. So high fives all around. All right. Uh, let's do... Da, 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 da. Let's do Walk Off first. So let's do daily walk off. Uh, this is a great game. We've been playing it each time we've been doing this. Everybody I've been talking to, this is the new Immaculate Grid. Everybody is really enjoying this, as am I. Uh, let's see. Today's theme is Diamond Dogs. Uh, we are in pro mode. I always do pro mode for the A's. Uh, and then maybe non-pro mode. For, we'll do another random team here. But uh, today, mainly played uh, catcher. Mainly played first, mainly played second, mainly played third. This is so far, this is right up my alley here for the A's. All right, mainly played first, we're going to put Matt Olson, Nate Freeman. I don't, for those that might not remember him, you're not an A's fan. This guy was like eight feet tall. Um, he was a good story. I, I, he was a fan favorite. And he was, he is married or was, I don't know, I haven't kept up with him, uh, with a LPGA golfer. Uh, and then Chris Carter, who I was just talking about the other day. I loved Chris Carter. That dude mashed. I think he's still playing in Mexico somewhere. All right, catcher, Sean Murphy. That one's good. Ramon Hernandez and Jonathan Lucroy. Now, second and third, these might be the hardest just because they're kind of interchangeable sometimes. But I know Ellie, longtime second baseman. Uh, Velarde. If he's out of prison and uh, Laurie was at third, 
Now, Sizemore, I think Coos was at third, so it's either Donnie Hill or Scott Sizemore. Not sure which one. We'll just go with this. If not, I switch them, and I think we're done. Yeah. All right. So we'll just switch those two. Bam. Did it. Out of the park. Walk off. That was a fun. That was a fun one because it was a little bit easier. But all right, uh, next we're gonna do a random MLB team. Now I did remove the A's from this wheel because last time we got the A's. Uh, looks like we got the Buckos. All right, so let's do daily walk off for the Bucks. Uh, we might need to change this if I'm too stupid, especially with the Bucks. I get a long history. Uh, Francisco Cervelli, all right, he was a catcher. Kang, I think, was third base, but we can revisit that. Uh, Chico leaned at second. Boy, I don't know a lot of these players, so this is going to not be great. Um, Ronnie Paulino, that, he sounds like a catcher. Uh, Casey McGee, Josh Bell's a third baseman, right? Uh, I think Andy LaRoche. I, I want to put him at first, but that might just be because of uh, what's his name, LaRoche, that was on Atlanta in the Pirates, or uh, Atlanta in the White Sox, and his son was in the clubhouse and caused problems, all that kind of stuff. John Jaso, I think, came up as a catcher. He was not a catcher his whole career, but I think he came up as a catcher. And with the Bucks, if he came, I think he came with Pittsburgh or, or Tampa Bay. Don't remember. Um, Ryan Domet. I do. I know that name, but I don't remember. Carlos Garcia. Now, Young Ho Kang. I think he was the Korean that got like a DUI or something. I don't want to. Allegedly got a DUI. I don't know. I don't want to say he was doing stuff. Mm, this is a tough one. So we'll give this one a shot. Again, I'm not big on my current pirates. So let's see. Oh, <laughs> well, we got the second base right. This, I think me, we did not get a single first baseman right. All right, let's put Josh Bell there. I think that might have that might be one. Um, we know that Francisco Cervelli is there, so we'll leave that there. Let's put Jaso over here. And we need one more first baseman. I don't know who Casey McGee or Ron, Ronnie Paulino is or Pedro Alvarez. Um, but we got to switch LaRoche out because we know nobody was right there. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's put uh, Ronnie Paulino there. Just a guess. All right. So now we're we're one off everywhere. Um, so if we change, let's just do this. We're going to just change the guys that I don't know. Is that going to make it worse? Bingo. Done. Done on pro mode. The pirates. That was fun. Let's do one more. We're going through these pretty quick until we get to the grid. Uh, let's do one more here. Next we've got, oh, this will be easy. I say the Mariners. All right. This one's for Mark. Uh, let's see, where is it? Seattle Mariners. All right. This one should be relatively easy. I'm pretty good with the Mariners. Uh, Joey Cora is at second. Kyle Seeger is at third. Spezio is at third. Lomo is at first, as was leaned. Valencia was at third. Uh, Booney was at third. Miguel Olivo is a catcher. Omar Navarez. He must have been a catcher. Yeah. Bang. That one was easy. Oh, I say that. All right. So we got a first baseman. It must be Holbert Cabrero and Cruz. There we go. Nope. Somehow. <laughs> All right. Boy, Danny Valencia was definitely a third baseman, at least with the A's. And then he went to the Mariners. Uh, unless Spezio was at first in Seattle. Again, with the A's, he was definitely, there we go. He was definitely at third. All right. This is fun. Let's just do one more. That's This is a fun category today. 
no, come on now. Not very random. If we get the Mariners here, then... Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, the Los Angeles Angels of California, Orange County. Now, this one... I don't know. I mean, they're in the AL West, so I probably know a good deal of these. But, uh, like, Mike Napoli, he was a catcher, but he played a lot of first base. Tony Phillips was at second. Uh, Kendrys Morales was at first. Bohr was at first, I remember for sure. Benji Molina, obviously there. Pujols at first. Alberto Callaspo is a second baseman. Uh, let's see. Martin Maldonado is a catcher, so then we can just swap these guys around. Freeze is at third, I believe. Mark McLemore was a super utility guy. Um, I think this is it. Oh, okay. So let's change. Uh, I think it's got to be Lavello or his Terrace here. And then... Maybe we put Macklemore. Now, let's do... All right, we're going to just switch those two straight across. There we go. All right. That, this is a good category. I might go back and do other teams afterwards. Because that was a lot of fun today. All right, we're flying through this stuff. But now comes the Immaculate Grid. Um, I do not have my chat window open. I don't know where it went today. So... This is all on me today. Um, just a shout out to the Ordinary Effort uh, podcast. Uh, Mark and I were on, uh, we, we did a thing with them this week. Uh, you'll see it probably in the next week or so, but it was a lot of fun. We did a grid with, uh, with these guys, and it was a lot of fun. I'm not going to tell you how it came out. You'll have to watch and see. We can talk about it later. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. We got to talk about a lot of old names, uh, a lot of players that we hadn't remembered uh for quite some time uh but uh, you'll get to see what score we came up with and uh, if we embarrassed ourselves or not but let's go ahead and embarrass ourselves with this today uh immaculate grid uh this is grid number 586 uh as usual if ricky henderson is a square we must use it and i can see that he is definitely a oh, well he's right in the center square if this was hollywood squares he would be I don't, I don't remember who was always in. 0.6. Wow. That was 1985 uh, he hit over 300 with the Yankees. The only time he hit 300 with New York. That was, I think, the year that he came in like second or third in MVP voting and Mattingly won it and Mattingly won it because Ricky was on base every single time he came to the plate. And then he'd steal second, steal third, or steal second. Mattingly would double him in. They were... <sighs> That was an unstoppable duo. Don Mattingly and Ricky Henderson in 1985. All right. The rest of these, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, why don't we do New York and the Twins? There is a very easy one here in Chuck Knobloch. Um, I do not know if Senor Smoke, Juan Berenguer, played for the Yankees. I don't think he did. Um, boy, I don't know if he played for any of these teams because I would love to use him. But we're not gonna we're not gonna risk it. Um, New York and Minnesota. So we got Knobloch. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, think of some guys. Tom Brunanski. I'm I'm thinking of Twins, and we'll just go down. Like that. Tom Brunanski. I don't know played for any of those teams. Uh, Alex Cole did not play for any of those teams. Obviously, I'm not naming uh, Puckett because he's only played for the Twins. Um, Dan Gladden. I don't think played for any of these teams. Um, let's see. Herbeck only played with the Twins. We got Nobby. Uh, we got Gagne and Gaetti. Which I don't know that they played for any of these teams. Um, God, who is the... Ca I'm, and I, you can tell where I'm stuck. I'm thinking of like 88 through 91. Uh, Terry Pen... No, not Terry Pendleton. Um... Who is the catcher on those teams? Um, let's see. Pitcher-wise, we got Jack Morris. I don't think he was anywhere on those teams. Johan Santana. Um, 
Jeff Reardon. Oh, well, Jeff Reardon played on the Expos. And I'm pretty sure he was the closer. In fact, I'm so sure that we're going to just jump in here. This is how I usually kill my score. But there we go. 8%. It's not a 0.6, but we'll take it. Uh, let's see. Uh, other twins. My gosh. I'm trying to think of guys off the bench and, and stuff like that. Um, maybe we go forward a little bit where we've got like Tommy on the team. Um that's not helping me. <laughs> All right. Why are the twins so hard for me here? Uh, let's let's go across here. So we got uh, the Nats or the Expos. I prefer to use Expos, but beggars can't be choosers. 300 home runs uh, or 300 plus. I don't think Andre Dawson had, well, no, 300 home runs. Andre Dawson had to have 300 home runs, right? Um. We got Larry Walker. Um, we've got three hundred home runs. Um, uh, Pete. Oh, wait. Does this have to be on the season? Uh, must be achieved with that team in a single season if matched with the team. So three hundred hitter. Uh, we got Vlad Senior. Three hundred. Um. Hi, buddy. I got a big German Shepherd puppy that wants to say hi. Uh, let's do 300. God, I want to do the hawk. I just, I don't know if he's, he had to have had 300 home runs. Should we put Babe Ruth for the Yankees? Is that too obvious? Um... Oh, well, here's Cincinnati. We can put, I'm sure Pete Rose is in here all the time for uh, for that. We're, we're not going to do Pete Rose anyway. We don't like Pete Rose. Um, see, I don't know, a 300 season for the Expos or just anybody that's not Ricky Henderson. I have a hard time unless it's like a standout like Ichiro or somebody. Um. Like Eric Davis, did he ever have a 300 season for the for the Reds? I don't know. Uh, Lark probably did. That's probably a pretty obvious answer, though. Um, see, I just I do, unless they were a batting champ that I happen to remember. Um, all right, well, let's do for 300 season here. Ah. I mean, in Colorado, Larry Walker certainly did. Andres Galarraga, I don't think, hit that great, like a 300 average. Um, boy, trying to make this not boring. You know what I need to do? I need to put a timer on this and give myself like five minutes to do this. So then I don't sit here and double think and it makes for a little bit better content. Uh, Nats Expos. All right, we're going to do it here. We're going to do, uh, we're going to do Andre Dawson. How is Andre Dawson? Did I spell his name wrong? How is he not in like the first... Come on now. Don't disrespect the hawk. Well, apparently apparently a lot of people knew that he hit 300 home runs. <laughs> um, let's see. Season batting. I mean, it just needs to be one guy. Like Gerald Williams. No. Um, I mean, Larry Walker or Vlad. Let's do Vlad Sr., well, gosh, yeah, I don't know. He was such a free swinger. I don't know if he would have hit 300. Um, obviously, he would have hit the home runs, but I don't know uh, if he would have done. Mike Lansing, did he ever hit 300 for the Expos? Um, I mean, if we did the Nats, then we could do like Harper or Soto or... I don't know, did Rend uh, Rendon's a piece of work, so we wouldn't put him, but let's, uh, we'll save that. We'll come back to that. All right, 300 career. Hi, Betty. 
Yeah. This one's in a phase of eating his uh, siblings stuff. So I don't want to have him kiss me. All right. Um, New York, 300 career. What I like about this is it's just a career. So they could have played like one year and and made it happen. By the way, Ricky can't go here because Ricky hit 297 career home runs. So just missed it. Um, let's see. Oops, sorry. Let me put all that away. Um, all right. So we got Yankees, 300 career home runs. I want to think of somebody that was just on the team barely and would have done that. And should we put Reggie? Reggie. That's a very uncommon answer. I, I think Babe Ruth is going to be the most common answer, though, right? Um. So let's do it. Let's put Reggie. He was an A, and I just saw him, and he's a Ricky Henderson guy. We're going to put Reggie. This is going to be a high score regardless, but I want to do it. 5% of people said Reggie. Je oh, my gosh. That's embarrassing. Uh, 300 career home runs for the Reds. This is where I should really know from past podcasts some, some older names, but I'm not going to do it. Um but for the Reds, you had the big red machine. You got Johnny Bench. Uh, you got Dave Parker. Um, uh, you got, I don't know if Eric Davis. I want to look that up when we're done here. Did Eric Davis hit 300 home runs? Because he could have easily, but he was always hurt. Um, let's see. And again, this is just, they could have been on the team for, for half a season. I don't know. The, when are the Reds in contention? Oh, Joey Votto. We're going to put Joey Votto. Assuming he hit 300, and I think this will be a popular answer if he did, because Joey Votto rules. There we go. All right, not a great score, but I love Joey Votto. Joey Votto is the absolute best. Oh, he probably could have been 300 season two. Gosh darn it. All right. Um Let's go down here. The Twins, again. I really don't want to put Chuck Knobloch. Like, I really don't. But also, I don't want to drag this out. So we'll put Chuck Knobloch. Was it Chuck Nasty? Was that his nickname? Or Who is Chuck Nasty? Oh, 23. Everybody's thinking about Chuck Knobloch these days. Uh, let's see. Twins and um, Reds. Let's go through the Reds, unfortunately, 1990 team. You got behind the plate, you got Ron, uh, Ron o Oster. I can never say. I want to call him Ron Oyster. Um, don't believe he played for the Twins. Uh, at first base, you had Todd Benzinger. I don't think he played for the Twins. Uh, let's see. At second base, and I don't know if these were starters or not, but you ha I know you had Billy Hatcher because he killed the A's in that World Series. Uh, then you had Lark at short. Oh, I just need to think of Red's Hots, people. We're going to put Lark in here because he was in Red's Hots. Any, if you're in Red, if you're in a, if you, especially if you coordinate a rap video with your teammates, you're going to get put in our grid. Um, Let's see. At third base, we had Chris Sabo, which I don't know. I know he played for a couple of other teams after he left Cincinnati, but I don't know who, and I'm not going to risk it. Um, oh, you got Ray Knight was there at some point. Um, let's see. In left field, you had uh, Glenn Braggs. Uh, center field, you had Eric Davis, or maybe it was the other way around. Uh, in right field, I'm not sure. Was Paul O'Neill in right field there for them or not? Um, I don't think Eddie Tobinsey. I think that's later, but I don't think he played for the Twins. Uh, let's see. You had Jose Rijo on the mound. There was, uh, boy, this. I, I realized this when I was looking at the... 90 World Series the other day. I don't know any of the Reds pitchers. You had the Nasty Boys, but I don't think any of them ended up on the Twins at any point. Maybe Charlton did, but nobody else. And I, I don't think Norm Charlton did. Um, 
oh, who was the guy that threw the no-hitter? And uh, he's the famous picture of him at Wrigley Field where he wasn't pitching and he went across up to the bleachers on the on the apartments and watched part of a game. He just passed away a couple of years ago. Uh, but I don't think he played for the Twins. Um, let's, let's think of some, I guess, newer guys. Not that I know a lot about the Reds, except for Ellie De La Cruz, Jonathan India. And these guys all came up with them, so that doesn't really help. Uh, Johnny Cueto. No, I don't think he played for the Twins. Um, what's his name? Chapman, I don't think played for the Twins. Uh, Fernando Rodney did not play for the Reds. Um, Julio Franco didn't play for the Twins. I don't even know if he played for the Reds, but now we're, we're digging deep if we're going like Bartolo Colon. Um, Mike Morgan, Mike Morgan might've played for the twins. He, I don't know. Mike Morgan is an answer that usually works in most boxes. Um, uh, da, 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 da. I don't know. I think we're going to have to take a flyer there. Um, And I don't have I don't have my chat. I lost my chat window, so I can't get help. Hi, Betty. Yeah, I know you're a good boy. You're a good boy. We'll go out in a bit. Uh, let's go back here. Let's just do this. God, uh, I just I don't think Pete Rose was hitting that well when he was in Expo. And again, yeah, I don't want to use Pete Rose. Um, I'm tempted to either go Larry Walker or Vlad Sr. I don't think Warren Cromarty. Ah, did Reigns ever hit 300 with the Expos? Did Gary Carter ever hit 300 with the Expos? I doubt it. Did uh, Rusty Staub ever hit 300 with the Expos? Um, Casey Kand Kandel? wouldn't have i'm just naming random expos at this point well let's do uh screw it let's do vlad we don't want to prolong this too much okay hold on to your butts all right that's not, not a bad score either take it all right so now we've got this stupid this stupid stupid I'm trying to think of anybody on the Reds that I haven't named yet. The only time I watch Reds games are if they're playing the A's or the Mets. That's literally the only time I watch them. Um, Scott Sullivan, random Reds reliever. I don't know why I remember that. Um Trying to think of those, like, uh, the 91 Twins, other pitchers on that squad. Alejandro Pena? I don't think he played for the Reds. Um, Gene, Gene Larkin. Gene Larkin. I think I remember him in both these jerseys. <laughs> it would be funny putting him next to not his brother, Barry. We're going to do it because this is going to be, if this works, this is genius. If this works, this is going to be the lowest score ever on a square for anybody ever. I don't know if it's going to work, but here we go. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who was he? Sunny. An Oakland Athletic, and I didn't get it. God. Well, there's Pete Rose. We knew that that would be the... We knew Ruth would be the number one guy there. See, we switched this up and put Vlad over here. Um, Oh, Nobby was the number one. It's kind of a goal is to never get the most popular answer, unless it's Ricky Henderson, in which case you have to do it. But I 
Oh, if we would have come, wow, 40 people, or 40%, 40 people, 40% of the people put sunny gray. That was the hardest square, though, by far. Let's see who all we could have picked. Um, Cliff Blankenship. Is he related to Lance? I don't know. Uh, Ocab. Sal Butera. That would have been awesome, but... I, I, Boone, I do not remember. He only played one. He only played fourteen games for the Twins. Yeah, I don't remember that. Um, Hector Carrasco, Jim Del Hante. See, that would have been. That's what our answer should have been. Dang it. Uh, let's see, Kyle Farmer, Sonny Gray, Everyday Eddie Gordado. Oh, that would have been a good one. S non sliding Billy Hamilton. That would have been a good one for me. Roberto Kelly. Um, Kyle Loesch. Quentin McCracken. Gosh darn it. We've got to work Quentin McCracken into a grid here in the very near future. Uh, Mike Morgan. I had it. Dang it. See, Mike Morgan is one of those guys. Uh, Pete O'Brien. Uh, Jeff Reardon, but we used Reardon in another square. Um, Ruben Sierra? I've been doing a lot of Ruben Sierra digging lately. Darn it. Gabby Street, friend of the pod. Gabby Street? Uh, see, I didn't, I didn't use the Senators. Yeah, that was... Not that I would have remembered Gabby Street. Frank Viola played for the Reds. Wow. Okay. Um, Carl Willis. All right. Oh, and then we've got all these pitchers too. But you know what? I am not mad at that score. What was I going to look up? I was going to look up Timbo. I wanted to see Tim Raines. Am I the only one that is just on baseball reference like the whole day? It is always a tab for me is open. At least one. Uh, let's see. Batting average. There it is. Montreal 334. Won the bat won the batting title. One, two, three, four. Four years uh while in Montreal. Actually, technically five, because in two thousand and one he hit three oh eight. Wow. Going back to Montreal after playing with his son for a couple of games in Baltimore, but I guess I don't look at that. He's got a higher batting average than Ricky does career wise, but his on base percentage is like 20 points lower. That's, uh, it's quite a bit. I mean, Ricky got on base a lot more than Tim Raines. Tim Raines just didn't walk. Yeah. I mean, he, he walked. I mean, here's 90, 97. I mean, he walked quite a bit, but you know, not, not compared to Ricky. Uh, with that the on base percentage, especially, and then you look at the war, especially Ricky doubles him up. Yeah, I know somebody's getting impatient over here. Uh, one thing I wanted to do before I have to go and play ball with this guy is this is a picture I found. I'm sourcing some pictures for a video I'm working on uh, for YouTube. This is a picture I found uh, of Tom. Tom, why did I call him Tom? Because he signed Tom. Tommy Her, which. Uh, I remember him as a Cardinal mainly, especially from, I think he was around, the, uh, he might have been in that 85 World Series. I'm guessing he was. Uh, first of all, I want to give a shout out to these stirrups. They're hanging on for dear life here, uh, very, but they're real. But I, this is the way I used to wear my stirrups, and I would just pull them up so hot. You can only wear them like once because you'd stretch the heck out of them. Uh, also, the pony shoes, don't see those very often, with the uh, the, to the tongue flap, which this is part of what I'm, what I, the video I'm working on is this tongue flap, and I have no idea what it did. Did it protect your laces? I don't know, but it looked really cool, and I want them to bring it back. But um, what I'm looking at here is this bat. Now, he's obviously, he's just put a ball in play here, right? Look at the bat handle and then the bat here. They are not on the same plane. I, bats don't break between your hands on the grip. I don't, in fact, here. Oh, this is, this is show and tell. 
this is the bat I used this season for my, my league that I was in. And this is the result of being jammed. Um, and obviously my hands are down here. So you can see this is not, it, it, you would have to be hit it like right where his hands are. But that's, see, I mean, that's nowhere near where that would have broken. So that's weird. I'm, I need to, is, is this just an optical illusion or what? I don't know. Also, if somebody has a couple hundred bucks uh, they want to give me, I need a new bat for next season. So <laughs> I've got other bats, but this was my gamer. This is the one that I got custom made from Chandler, and I love it um, because I was taking, we got to do batting practice on the field at the A's. Uh, I've done that a couple of times now, and they provide you bats so you don't have to bring a bat to a game. And uh, one of them was a Chad Pinder bat. Uh, had his name on it and uh i used it for my turn and i loved it it felt so good and uh, i didn't take a picture of it because i was stupid uh, but i contacted chandler and they looked up the chad pinder order that they had and then they made me this bat and it's got my name on it and uh, i got to choose the color and everything and i loved it and uh, i'm gonna miss this bat but i'll probably just get another one just like it but anyway um any ideas on this on this bat and why it is so squampus? Because it just it would not break that way. But I don't know. This is the things that I do when I waste time. But anyway, that is uh, that's it for our dailies today, right? Um, yeah. So uh, it's Friday. Everybody have a good weekend. Like I said, no pod this week. I just need a break. It's been an uh, exhausting week for everybody. I think here in the United States. Uh, so we're going to take uh, this week off. I have a topic that I've been working on for next week that I'm excited about. Somebody I'd never heard of that was uh, a lot of fun and stuff. So we'll do that. Uh, Wax Packs Heroes will be back. And uh, go check out the Ordinary Effort, guys. Uh, I'll let you know when, uh, when our episode is up. But uh, beyond that, everybody have a great weekend. Go have some fun. Uh, stay out of trouble. And uh, we'll see you again next week. Bye.